Hey everybody, it's Drake from Bullshit Corner. In today's video, we're going to install the stereo in the Jeep and drink frickin' beer. Well, I'm going to go with you step by step on what you need to do in order to get the old factory deck out and what you need to put the new deck in. Before I get too hammered, let's get to work. So one of the first things we need to do is pry up this little panel right here. held in by clips. There we go. And the second thing you want to do is remove those two Phillips screws right there. Once you remove the two screws up top, you can pull the front panel, give it a good pull up top here, it'll pull forward, open up your glove box, grab on the corner here, and then you can pull it the rest of the way out, just like that and that gives you access to your front and everything else. The next step is remove the four Phillips screws holding your factory deck in and then the two screws holding your climate controls in. So once you got the four screws removed and the screws for the climate control, which you're probably confused while you're doing that, if you notice, you just can't pull the deck out. It's in there, so you gotta do remove the glove box door now. Now this part I won't be able to show you, but you're going to have to reach your hand up there with a wrench and there's a 10 millimeter nut on the back of the stereo that you're going to have to remove in order to get the deck out. That's what the nut looks like in the back of the stereo and it's not very pleasant to get out. I tried different things like a 10 mil wrench but I ended up getting it out with a 10 mil socket and a little short stubby ratchet. So that part is out, on to the next step. So the next step is to physically pull the radio out. After you get that nut out, and you got your radio connection on the back. So if you're wondering where that nut went, it's actually bolted on right to there. And then there's your factory deck here. And you gotta disconnect your radio harness because it's pretty firmly connected to right here with a plastic clip. So I don't know if it comes off. But you can remove that from your glove box. It just kind of hangs down in there. So now we're ready to get the new deck installed. All right, I lied to you guys. I actually had to use that radio antenna wire part on the back of the factory deck because my new adapter piece wouldn't uh, connect to the main piece. So I just had to take the other one out. So depending on the kit you got, you may or may not need to use that extension or not. So the next part we're going to do, we're going to get it all set up. We're going to plug in our wiring, run our wiring, and then plug the stereo in and see if she works. So I just wanted to show you guys this before I plug into place. I got my USB cable connected for my iPod. I got the factory harness in the Pioneer deck and it connects to an adapter that goes to the main wiring harness and my radio antenna. So at this point here, I'm just going to mount the deck loosely inside and then we're going to power it up. The next, the next step in mounting your aftermarket receiver is getting your mounting bracket all screwed up so you can just slide the deck in and you'll be able to lock it into place. So there's the deck, that's how it looks where it's all mounted in. I'm trying to get rid of the glare. It's a nice clean fit, everything else. And it should take you no more than about half hour to take out the dash and put it back in and everything else. It's actually pretty easy. The hardest part is removing that little nut at the back, so, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Look at the treasure I found when I removed the top piece of the dash. Got tire gauge, deer foot in, a casino pen, big sky Chrysler, and a cap. Wicked score. And I put my uh, Bluetooth mic right up top there because I didn't I knew this was a Bluetooth stereo, I just didn't uh, think I'd be able to do phone calls through it, but apparently I can, so this is the deck itself right here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, that was a quick, uh, quick setup on how to install your stereo in your Jeep. I pretty much covered everything you need to know in order to get your stereo put in. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them below, otherwise thanks for watching.